Okay. So we missed this set thing, right? So, you know, um, uh, we have done um, list, tuple, dictionaries, and uh, completing the basic data structure, basic collection is set. Uh, and we discussed, right? Set is used to represent values which are just a placeholder, right? They do not, the order doesn't mean anything, right? If, you know, um, if you ask you to name five animals, you name animals in any order, doesn't matter, right? So how do you use it, okay? All the three brackets have been taken, right? You have a simple bracket for tuple, square bracket for list, curly bracket for uh, set. So, uh, sorry, for dictionary. <laughs> so set also uses curly bracket, okay? Now, if you have an empty set, obviously, you know, empty set is by default treated as dictionary, okay? So when you run it, you get dictionary. But moment I add a value here, okay? Now, in dictionary, you, you give key colon value. But when you don't give key colon value, you just give one value, it knows, okay, no, no, it's not dictionary, it is set, okay? You can have multiple values, right? So you have set one and let's say you have set two. And this one you have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Okay. Now the question is, it's like student one told you names of five animals and student two told you names of six animals, right? So totally how many animals I have? Student one told me, you know, names of five animals and student two told me names of six animals, right? Totally um, how many animals? Six eleven. plus five, 11, right? Six. But don't you think this three, four, five is repeated yeah, here? Common. Yeah, no duplicate values. So it right? will be totally yeah. six. Yeah, so, so you know, um, I mean, just... Uh, you know, if you understand the concept, you will not have to remember duplicate because now, see, the five names I got from here, but it's not 11, right? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I've got only eight names, right? So this is what your first operation that we're going to do, union does. So if you say print, there are two ways to do it. You say uh, set one dot union set two. Or you can say print set one pipe. Pipe is this sign, okay? Just above your enter key, right? So the straight line, pipe set two, okay? They both give you same result, which is the, okay, union. So union is like giving you all. Giving you all data, okay? Of course, minus duplicate, correct? Now, so here you see, these are the unique eight values that people are talking about, students are talking about. So this will give you maximum value that it can give you is sum of the elements, right? And your mean is will be, mean would be minimum of the elements in uh, in in the elements in the uh, you know so it's not minimum right so minimum would be the number of elements okay number of elements in the bigger set okay so let's say if set 2 also decides to duplicate everything 1 2 3 4 5 and it will give you 6 isn't it? Because 1 to 5 is common, but it's giving you 6. So minimum that, uh, you know, the union will return you is the size of the bigger set. And maximum it will give you is 5 plus 6, the right? sum of these two elements. Okay? Sum of the number of elements. Okay? Not elements. Okay? But actually it will be somewhere between these two. So it is, okay, in this case, it, we have 8. Correct? So this is what the meaning of union is. The next one is called intersection. Okay. Intersection, you say set one dot intersection set two. 
or you can say print set one dot not dot but ampersand okay set two both will give you the common path so how many so how many values were repeated in both the sets question is how many values were repeated if your student one gave you five animals names student will give you six how many of them were repeated so in that case you're talking about intersection one two three intersection okay the minimum value that it can take is what is the maximum value that you can take okay so minimum value that you can take is zero okay no elements repeated correct it's possible that all of them talks different right no elements so if there's no element repeated common we call them as disjoint set okay if no elements are repeated we call them disjoint set okay the sets are not joined they are so there's no common between them nothing common between them this joint max can be the size of lowest uh, uh, or the lower right or lower size of lower set i mean you understood lower set means what i mean one with the low, less number of values so maximum let's say you know you have one two three four five so if you have one two three four five six so maximum it can have is this one right so you know size of the lower uh, set or minimum it can have is zero so actual value will be somewhere between zero and the size of the lower right if there's nothing common if there's zero we call them as disjoint set okay now if both the uh, um, both the sets are same okay okay if both the sets are same okay so let's understand this concept also so if no elements are common we call them disjoint now if you take set a okay i'm using set a because i don't want to disturb the values of set one and three set a you have one two three okay and set b you have one two and three okay both are same that means intersection is same as union and same as the set one. So if you see here, your set one is set A is, sorry, set A is equal to set B is equal to um, union is equal to intersection. Okay. We say that, okay, they are, They are enclosed uh, among each other, right? So it means, you know, a, a set A is super super set as well as subset of set B. Okay, what is super set? Super set is let's say you have set A and you have set C, where set c has all the elements of set a plus some of its own so in this case set c is superset of set a okay and you call set a as subset of uh, set c okay so if you have to represent this in uh, you know in diagram let me show you that okay so how do we re represent a set we represent set okay using oval right so let's say you have this this is your set c one two three four five and you have set a which is one two three let's say okay then this is called super set Okay, and this one is called subset. Understood? So all the elements of subset is in superset. Okay, you have one set here. 
and you have another set here. Okay, see there is no overlap between them, right? There is no common between them, right? We call them this joint set. Okay, or you can even represent it like this. Okay, there is no overlap between them. Okay, now if you talk about so okay, so we call them as this joint set. Okay, now if you have one set here and you have another set here. Okay, so this component, this portion is common between them, right? So if you have to color them, okay, this is your union. We call them as union. This is what we did when we said union. Okay, union is both the values together, right? But duplicate will be taken only once. You don't duplicate twice, right? You don't say, no, duplicate here. Uh, let me, we don't say that this is duplicate, right? So this is your union. What does intersection mean? Intersection mean if you have a set here and if you have another set here, okay, like this. So the common part, okay, this is your intersection. Okay, so the shaded part is represented for intersection. Intersection, right? Common between these two elements. There are two more stuff you're going to talk about, okay? One of them is called a difference. Okay, what does that mean? So let's say I have a set here, okay? And I have another set here. Oops. Okay. Another set here. Okay. This is your set A. We call it as, let's say, A. And we'll call this as B. Okay. Now, when I say A minus B, a minus B. So what I'm saying, okay, I'm saying from A, remove B. From A, remove B. Okay, so this is A, and you're removing bigger piece. But can you remove what is not there in A? Can I take from you something that you don't have? Right, let's say you have chocolates and sweets. Okay, if I tell you, give me chocolates and fruits. So you can only give me chocolate. You can't give me fruit because you don't have it, isn't it? So it's like this, you know, this is you having chocolate and sweets. I'm asking you, give me fruit, which is this part, which is not with you and chocolate. So you'll give me chocolate and what is left with you is sweet. Right? That's what A minus B means. So, you know, A minus B, B is this. This is A minus B. Similarly, you can have B minus A, right? So, let's say, you, know, you have one set, you have another set, right? Now I'm saying perform B minus A. So, this is your B, right? And this is your A. So I'm saying from B, remove A. From B, remove A. So this is what is left. Okay, this is what is left, right? From B, you're removing A, right? Now we call these as difference. Okay, difference or minus. So you are finding difference between A and B. Okay. One last topic here you have is called your um, uh, symmetric difference. Okay. Symmetric difference. Let's say you have a set. Okay. You have another set here. Okay. I'm saying symmetric difference. Okay. Let me use dark color. Right. 
So I'm saying, okay, symmetric difference. Okay, symmetric difference. Okay, whether you say A minus B, B minus A, should give you the same. Symmetric difference means you are doing A minus B and B minus A both together. Okay, so you will end up with something like this. This one and this one. Intersection part is not there because that is got that is removed, isn't it? So symmetric difference of A minus B will be same as B minus A. Symmetric difference of A minus B will be same as B minus A. Unlike difference where B minus A and A minus B is same, so is different. Correct? But symmetric difference will be exactly same. Okay? So these are the different operations that we perform on set. Now let's go back to um, our program. Okay, so we have seen intersection. Okay, we have spoken about superset, subset, union. Now we have is difference. So print set one, right? We are using set one only for this. Dot difference. Set two. Or you can say print set one minus set two. Now, set 1 minus set 2 or set 2 minus set 1 will be different, right? But when you perform symmetric difference, set 1 dot symmetric difference, okay, set 2. And you say print set 1, this upward key, okay? So we call them hat, right? Upward key or hat and set 2. Okay, this is how you write symmetric difference. Okay, so if you see here, this is a symmetric difference. This is set B minus A, and this is A minus B, or 1 minus 2. So 1 minus 2 is giving you 1, 2. Okay, uh, 8, 6, 7 is coming from, so this is left side, what we we discussed, right? A, side set A, left side shaded part. This is right side shaded part. So symmetric difference will be both. There is no common between them. The common element is removed. This is your symmetric difference. Okay. So depending upon the business problem, you can apply this. Make sense? Okay. So these are uh, operations. You'll also have operation like update, which is like union update. Then you have intersection update. So you have intersection, you have intersection update. Okay, you have difference update. Okay, all these are methods, right? So let me add this here. Okay, uh, then you have symmetric difference update. What does this mean? Okay. The, these mean that you're updating the set one, original set. Now, see, uh, if I print the value of set one and set two, the set one and set two values will not get changed. Will not get changed, right? Set one and set two values will be same. These are giving us a new result, new set. But update when you do, the one that you are saying dot, right? That will get updated. Okay. So it's like saying, okay, it's like saying set one equal to set one intersection, okay, intersection on right and set two. This is what update means. So find the result and update the set one, first set. Did you understand? This is what your, you know, update means, okay. Update means union update. Perform union and update the set one. Intersection update, perform intersection and update set one. Okay. Uh, intersymmetric difference, perform symmetric difference and put it, update the values in set one. 
Okay. okay. Whatever has to be mentioned, we will have to. Exactly. So you don't have a special operator for those. You can only use method for those. Right. So if you see here, you can see this update. This is the method. Right. So if you do that, and if you say print set one. Now, if you do here, set one will values will be. So this is going to return nothing. It's not going to give us a new set, right? So when you run it, so you see, you get none here. Print set one. You get none here, okay? Because it's not returning any new set, unlike the previous one. And the output is here, you see. Okay, this is the output, right? Set one. Set one got updated with the output. Yeah? One, two. One two eight six seven, right? One two eight six seven. It got updated here. So these are the operations that we generally use in set. Any questions? Mm -hmm.